Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. And have you been watching the rugby? If you have, you'll know by now that England lost. South Africa won. So I hope it's very, very happy. I'm very, very sad, but we're not getting divorced just yet. So uh, I think it was probably better that England lost than South Africa lost in our household today. Um, so this evening, um, I thought I'd use up some butternut, which we'd got. Um, and I was trying to think of things to do. It's been really miserable here today. I don't know about you, it's been raining most of the day. It's a bit cold. I'm getting a cold myself, so I'm not feeling great. My throat's really sore. And so I wanted something that was really sort of comforty and homely and, oh, and wintry for dinner this evening. So I did think about doing butternut soup, but that's a bit boring, isn't it? And as I said, I'm not feeling great, feeling like I've got a bit of a cold. Um, well, not feeling, I have got a bit of a cold. And so I thought curry would be lovely. So at the moment, I've got in my oven my butternut roasting away. Let me just quickly show you. There it is, it's in there. Okay. Um, you don't need to do it normally for a curry, but I think if you roast the vegetable, um, it gets nuttier, I think so anyway. Um, so I'm just roasting it for about half an hour in the oven. It doesn't need to be cooked, I just want to give it a bit of extra taste. And then for my butternut um, curry, I'm gonna add some thighs, chicken thighs, only two. There's two of us for dinner. This will probably make four. Now with this recipe, um, I'm trying to keep the sins down as much as possible. So I'm using coconut milk, but light coconut milk and um, milk milk. And that's really important, guys, if you're on Southern World. Um, this um, little tin is only a 200 uh, milliliter tin and it's about six sins for the whole tin. OK, if you buy full fat coconut milk, guys, right, for 400 millilitres, you're talking about, well, millilitres, grams, is it grams or millilitres? I don't know what they call it now. I haven't got my glasses on. 200 millilitres, yeah, millilitres, millilitres, it is. Um, 400 grams is 36 sins, okay? 400 light milliliter is only 12 and a half sins, okay? Massive, massive difference. So that is a really, really important thing to make sure you do. The other thing is, red Thai um, curry paste. Just check which one you get, because there is one which um, Blue Dragon does, which is about three and a half sins a tablespoon. So it starts adding up. The one I'm using today um, is actually one sin a tablespoon. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of it, okay? So I'm going to be making all of this for about seven sins, and it will make about four portions, I think, with the amount of things I've got in it. So I've talked about the butternut, I've talked about my chicken uh, thighs, which I've diced. I've got three spring onions, which I've sliced, quite chunky. I can show you like that, okay? That one's halved as well. Um, where it's a smaller slice, it's whole, okay? I'm gonna put some chickpeas in it, which I've drained, and just gonna have some cherry tomatoes and skim milk. And um, those are the only ingredients that are going into this curry. So um, hopefully it's um, going to be as delicious as ever. And with this curry as well, it's better the day after, or the day after, or the day after. So the plan is I'm going to do a big pot of this and then I'm going to freeze some of it as well. And then it'll just be even nicer. Okay. And I'll serve it with a little bit of rice. So I better start getting the curry ready, haven't I? Okay, so let me just heat my Berghoff pan. And again, because I'm using Berghoff pans, guys, I don't use oil. You can use oils if you want, but I'm not. So let me just turn that on and uh, we'll start cooking the chicken first of all. Um, if, you know, while I'm doing this, you think you like it, don't forget to be subscribed and notifications so you get more of my recipes. Um, right, let me get cooking this chicken. Okay, so I've just heated the pan. Okay, so no oil in there at all. Um, I'm just gonna pop in my thighs. You can hear them sizzling away, just to show the heat of the pan already. I'm just gonna quickly wipe my hands while that's sizzling away, because I have just used raw chicken, and I don't want to poison anybody later on. Okay, just get a wooden spoon, just give them a little stir. Okay. 
um, my hubby, bless him, has just poured me a glass of some wine while I have this. So uh, I'm just going to have a slurp while my set cook. He's still celebrating South Africa winning. I think it's going to happen for oh, a few days yet. I've had a lot of text messages and uh, Facebook messages from his friends and family in South Africa who were very happy. Okay, right, so I just want to give this a bit of colour. I don't want to cook it away through. Um, use chicken thighs because they are more moist than breast. If you want to use breast, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I just think with a thigh, uh, especially for a curry, um, you can cook it a bit longer. It just tastes so much better. Okay, so that's just starting to colour. Now to that, I'm going to add my um, Thai paste. Because I'm going to add two tablespoons of Thai paste for this. use coconut cream I've used two tablespoons if you're using coconut cream but this is 200 millilitres of um, light coconut milk okay Just give it another little stir to make sure the paste gets well in there okay now I'm going to add to that 400 millilitres of skimmed milk okay so um if you haven't already had your healthy extra a today that's where it becomes free if you have already used it i should have said at the beginning you will need to sin it okay but if you're using your healthy extra a then it's absolutely fine you're still within your sort of sort of eight what did i say it was going to be four four seven sins it's eight sins eight about eight and a half sins but again this is going to be four portions at least so you're only talking two sins her portion which i don't think is bad for a curry okay so there we go so that's gone in there now i'm going to start adding in my butternuts let me get it out of the oven okay it's been nicely roasted oh. Oh. okay i don't know if you can see that it's going to probably steam you up there we go so it's got a bit of color on it now so i'm just going to add this is a whole butternut Right, well, what I'm going to do is get some, I was going to say pliers, not pliers, some tongs and put it in so it won't splash all over my uh, kitchen as I throw it in. Okay. Now the butternut will soften, okay, and that will help with the sauce. You're definitely going to get your five a day out of this, aren't you? Look at this. It's looking nice. Now, I didn't put any oil or anything on this button either. Okay, so I've literally had no extra oil. Okay, there we go. That's in there nicely. Let me put that somewhere out of the way. And then I'm going to add. 250 grams of cherry tomatoes to that. Oops, I should have probably took there's no stalks on any of these. No, just the one. Okay, so we're fine. And then my spring onions are gonna go in like that. Okay. Now look at the colours. Doesn't that look just amazing? Okay. And all I'm going to do, guys, now is pop my lid on and I'm going to leave that to simmer on a low heat for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and I'll show it you. Okay, so this is about half an hour and you'll see the butternut is really soft 
and it will start to melt now into the sauce which is perfect because that's what thickens it for you um, you can see the colors change now and it's just absolutely lovely um, I'm now going to add my final main ingredient into this which is some chickpeas just to add more protein uh, Obviously, if you're vegetarian, guys, you can leave the chicken out and this will just be a completely vegetarian, even vegan, apart from the milk. Um, you could, I suppose, just use all coconut milk if you're vegan. Um, but yeah, you can make it sort of more of a twist. There we go. I'm just going to leave that now for about another five to ten minutes with the lid off this time, though right it's now finished so about to serve it and uh, we'll see what it's like um bit of a disaster at the moment because the dogs are barking because the fireworks started nearby us so yeah it's not a great time for dogs is it firework weekend and things like that so anyway let's get on with our dinner Right, it was as delicious as I was expecting. And as you've just seen at the end there, I've got three um, portions, which is going into the freezer. So I actually did five dinners. So I said it was six plus two, that's eight divided by five. So you talk about one and a half sins a portion. That isn't bad for a red Thai curry. And the butternut, because it melts into the um, sauce, it just adds with the flavour. Um, Hubby said if he could change it, he would like um, to have it cooked longer. But as I explained to him, um, the fact that the next day the flavours infuse more, which is what he's thinking about. He's thinking about when he's had it the second time round. So, so yeah, but it was just stunning. Um, as I said, take chicken out if you're vegetarian. Um, if you are vegan, then obviously change the milk for a vegan milk. Um, but yeah, it is so easy guys. You can do it in the slow cooker, absolutely. Just be prepared though, if you do it in the slow cooker, that the butternut will melt more, okay? It's not a train smash because the flavor of the butternut in with the milk is just delicious. So that's it for me today, guys. Um, I now need to go upstairs with Lola to download this video with loud music on so she can't hear the fireworks um, because fire and Lola really don't like them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you try it. It is perfect for a cold autumn or even a winter's evening and for taking for work and everything else. So that's another fire that's gone off. That's Lola now getting scared, so I'm going. Subscribe, guys, notifications, and give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna rescue Lola from the fireworks. See you later, bye.